Hello and welcome back to Easy English with James. Today I've got a short lesson for you. Basically, what I want you to do is to try to stop using the word very. Most students that I teach have a problem with this word. They like it too much. They say, I'm very happy, I'm very hungry, I'm very excited. What I want you to do, if you want to sound more like a native speaker of English, is to try to not use that word very quite so much. Especially if you're doing an IELTS test and you want to improve your score for vocabulary, stop using very so much, okay? In this short video, I'm going to show you at least 10 words we can use instead of very, okay? So stick with me. Okay, the first one, instead of very easy, this test was very easy, learning English is very easy, don't use very, try using effortless. This test was effortless. I didn't have to put in any effort to pass this test. It was really, really easy. It was effortless. Effortless. It was effortless, okay? Effortless, very easy. The next one is very angry. Instead of using very angry, try using furious. Furious, okay? I did something to make my friend furious. He lost lots of money the other day. He was furious. He was furious, okay? The teacher was furious at her students because none of them passed the test. Furious means very angry, to be furious. Okay? Instead of very beautiful, try using gorgeous. The view from my hotel is gorgeous. The view from my window is gorgeous. Instead of very beautiful, okay? That woman is very beautiful. Nah, that woman is gorgeous, okay? The view here is gorgeous, not very beautiful, okay? Don't use very, instead use gorgeous. It means the same. Instead of very big, we might say huge, huge, or massive, huge or massive. Both mean very, very big. That building is huge. That sports stadium is massive. So many people can go inside that sports stadium. It's massive. That mountain is huge. You can even say this if you want to joke about one of your friends. If he's really tall, you say, wow, he's huge. He's massive, okay? He's huge, it means very big, very, very big. Huge, very big. What about if something is very boring? Very, very boring. A really advanced word we can use here is monotonous. Monotonous. Monotonous is something that's so boring you don't want to carry on. If you're doing the same thing, maybe you work in like a factory somewhere and all day, you're just doing the same thing, it's a monotonous job. Monotonous job, very boring, okay? If you're studying and I tell you to study English, read the same page 100 times, that's very monotonous. You'll read it once, okay? You'll read it twice, okay? But after the 50th time reading the same page, you'll be so bored because it is monotonous. It's just doing the same boring thing over and over again. It's very monotonous monotonous, okay? Do you think learning English is monotonous or amazing? Which one? Okay, exciting, amazing, or monotonous? Okay, when we want to describe someone who's very poor, we can use the word destitute. He is destitute. Destitute means so poor, you pretty much have nothing. You don't have enough money for food, for a drink. You are destitute, you have nothing. Okay, you, when somebody is so poor that they are struggling, it's difficult for them to survive, we say he is destitute, destitute. It is a sad word, okay? It means somebody who's much too poor. In my opinion, nobody on earth should be destitute. In the 21st century, we shouldn't allow anybody to become destitute. But sadly, in the world, people still are. And it's our job to hopefully try and change that in the future. Destitute is very poor, okay? Now, on a happier note, what about when something is very funny? 
If something is very funny, we can say hilarious. He is hilarious. That comedian, comedian is a, a funny man who tells jokes, that comedian was hilarious. I laughed for hours. I laughed for hours because he was hilarious. Okay? Who is someone that you think is hilarious? Can you write in the comments something that you think is hilarious? I'm interested to know. Okay? Hilarious is very, very funny. What about something that is very slow? Okay? Somebody who speaks very slowly. Something very slow, very slow, can be described as sluggish. A slug is a small, very well-known animal that moves very slowly, okay? It is sluggish. If you do something slowly, you would say, I'm doing it sluggishly, okay? He's very sluggish. He does it very slowly. He does it very sluggishly. I sluggishly read my English textbook the other day. I read it very slowly. Why? Because it's monotonous. It's boring, okay? Learning English by speaking, much, much better idea, okay? Sluggish means very slow. So very slowly, sluggishly, okay? Something that is very clear or easy to see or easy to understand is something that is obvious. Very clear, very easy to understand, obvious. It was obvious, you know? He, he, he asked me, do you understand? And I said, of course I understand. It's obvious, you know? If I say one plus one is two, you might, well, duh, that's obvious, okay? It's obvious. If I look at the sky and it's full of dark rain clouds and I say, I think it's gonna rain, my friend might say, yeah, obviously, obviously, because when you look up, it's obvious. Of course it will rain. It's nearly already raining, okay? It's obvious. It's very clear. It's obvious. Okay, the opposite here is something that is very confusing. Very confusing. Like, ah, I, I don't understand this at all. That's really confusing. We can say, very confusing, perplexing. Perplexing. A problem that is perplexing is a problem that you really can't find the answer to. I am perplexed. What is the answer to this problem? If you look up at the sky and you can't see any clouds, but it's raining, you might say, that's really perplexing. That's really, really perplexing. Why? Because it's confusing. Normally you need clouds for rain, but today there's no clouds, but it's still raining. That's really perplexing. That's really perplexing. Okay, use these words and I guarantee you'll score really high for vocabulary. Okay, thank you very much for joining me today. If you like this video, make sure to hit like and subscribe to my channel if you want to see all of my future videos, okay? It really helps my videos to get noticed and helps me to have the motivation to make more and more videos that will help you learn English better in the future. Okay, thank you very much and bye-bye.